Hello, I'm Coach Natalie, and welcome to this episode of Jiu Jitsu for Dummies. Well, today we're going to continue on uh, learning about the toe hold, and we're going to be doing it from a position that we call outside Ashigurami. Now, we cover outside Ashigurami way back in episode 11, so you might want to check that out. Uh, but today we're going to uh, continue studying a little bit more about the toe hold and so it's pretty simple let's check it out call it outside ashigrami. Uh, I'm going to be having one of my legs is inside and both of my feet meet on the outside of their hip. This is very important. I'm going to have uh, my outside leg covering my inside ankle for a reason I'll share shortly. I'm also going to flare out my knees. I'm going to be uh, over gripping the foot, as we've mentioned. My pinky is going to be near the pinky toe. I'm going to be under hooking, grabbing my own wrist. And the last thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to keep this toe as low to the ground as possible. And I'm going to be raising up this uh, this wrist. So again, okay. Um, this move is pretty simple, but there's a, a few mistakes you can make. So first thing you want to, when you have both legs, on the outside of your opponent's hip, you want to make sure that you are trying to leg lock uh, your partner, but you don't want them to leg lock you. So you can protect this leg by covering it with your outside foot. It would be a mistake to, you know, keep this leg vulnerable, you know, because there's nothing to stop them from, you know, leg locking you. Next thing you want to do is I want to flare my legs. Now we talk a lot about frames and how we uh, use frames. The person who's uh, on the bottom usually is using frames to kind of, you know, keep the other person away. In this case, I really want my opponent not to be able to, you know, save their own leg. If I flare out my legs, it's, it's kind of acting like a little shield. And so um, it would be a mistake if I allowed my legs uh, to, you know, one to collapse on top of another, then I could be, you know, my legs could be flattened out. So protecting my own ankles, flaring my knees. Um, we're going to be uh, treating this toe hold kind of like the old fashioned Americana. Now, as you know, in Americana, you're uh, immobilizing the hand and then raising up the elbow. Um, and in this case, I'm over hooking, the, over gripping the toe under hooking, grabbing my own wrist. Then what I'm doing is I'm lifting this part, but at the same time I'm immobilizing the toe. So the toe stays down and I'm lifting up the ankle and that's what's putting uh, the um, stress on the ankle. Again, I approach my partner protect my ankles, flare out my knees. Maybe it's a little easier if, if I'm on my side. Uh, over hooking the uh, foot, 
grabbing my own uh, wrist and then I'm lifting, lifting with this um, arm while, you know, keeping the toes, you know, immobilized down. That is how uh, we use the outside ashigami uh, as a way to get a toehold. Now, as I mentioned, we, we do cover the outside ashigami uh, in more detail in episode 11. So you might want to check that out. Uh, in the last couple of episodes, we've talked about how it's good to know if you're in danger. Now, if you're not a brown or black belt, uh, especially if you wear the gi and you're in a tournament, you know, toeholds are illegal, but that doesn't mean that you still shouldn't be familiar uh, with this position. If you have a dummy, certainly try this out. Uh, if you're so lucky to have a human partner, you might want to gently get into the position and play with it a little bit, but certainly we never want to crank, you know, a submission on a live person because, you know, like I said, if uh, you injure them, they, they might not want to, um, you know, practice with you. Uh, this is uh, causing a lot of strain on someone's ankle and, you know, certainly, um, you know, we want to keep our partners safe. So we have continue to have training partners. And thank you very much uh, for sharing uh, news about our series with people. I always enjoy getting new subscribers and obviously we enjoy uh, people learning more about the gentle art of jujitsu. And in the meantime, thank you again for your support of this episode for Jiu Jitsu for Dummies.